I can't explain to you guys this. Every single morning, I felt like a newborn baby. And I'm not even being dramatic. Like, that's how it felt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just can't because Cody's with me. Come here. So this is Cody. You might be seeing him more. Say hi. He can be a little stubborn at times. But he's so cute. Hey. Wow. He's so cute. Okay. Oh my god! I swear, he's so bipolar. It's like a love-hate, but he mostly hates me. But then he's coming back to play. Oh my god. Anyways, so what happened when I meditated for three months, what made me want to do this? Um, this was summer 2015. And this summer, I was working with kids the year before, so during summer they're off. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have this summer to myself because I'm not in school. They're not in school, I'm not working, I'm not going to school. Um, and I just feel like I really needed this time to like find myself. I feel like everyone needs time to find themselves, meaning just take time for yourself, do everything for yourself. Um, and I just had to find out like, it's like, you know you need to find yourself when someone asks you like, oh, so tell me about yourself. And you're kind of like, because uh... I remember I've gotten this question and I was just like so caught up with like school and like freaking people, boys was dating. It was just like a gym. I like to work out. Like that's the only thing I could think of. Getting right into it, what happened to me when I meditated for three months. You can meditate. There's different forms of meditating. You could either people, it's not all like chance, like, like no like you can do that but it's not completely necessary well for me i don't think it was like you don't have to do that for me it was just like clearing my mind like how important it is to clear your mind meaning like if you think about it all the time your mind's constantly thinking like throughout the day you're thinking you're like probably worrying you're just like dozing off just like think like just most of the time it's like you're worrying you're thinking about the future you're thinking about the past you're not really like thinking like in the present moment, right? And even when you go to sleep, you think like, oh yeah, well I go to sleep. No, you're dreaming. And then right before you go to bed, you're thinking about the day before you go to sleep. So your mind's always at work. And what happens when you just stop, like you literally just like close your eyes and then just, what ha it's really hard in the beginning because your mind just wants to wander and start thinking. So what I recommend is just, um, what I heard is like, Focus on your heartbeat. And if that doesn't work, you just like hear your heartbeat. You start counting like three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one in your head. So your mind is focused just on the numbers, but it's actually very like calming. And if you, you have to obviously be in a quiet place, um, you know, you can sit on a pillow. Just don't sit on your bed because you're gonna fall asleep. Like don't sit on your bed, sit on the floor. Um, and I did this for like 15 minutes um a day 15 to 20 i want to say 15 to 20 every now and then it'd be 30 minutes um but it's like you recharge it's like you reboot yourself like as weird as that sounds like you're a machine and you're just like rebooting yourself and um i know this may sound weird i don't care but i just want to share this because what happened is I started living in the present. And I know a lot of you guys cannot really relate unless you've meditated. That's why I want you guys to like try it for yourselves. What it means to live in the present, you're not worrying. What the heck? Cody. Oh my God. Anyways, um, <laughs> you're not worrying about anything. You're just, just, completely in the present moment you just start noticing like everything anything and everything when you're in the store like you know you go to the store you go get your groceries you're just like i need to get this this and that you just focus you zone out you don't really look at other people you're kind of just like in your own world and when you do this you start when you start meditating you start noticing other people and i feel like i start noticing their like emotions and their feelings more and i mean i like that that's like you know, I love like getting to know people and I love on a deeper level, like getting to know like about people. 
and what they're thinking. And I'm, so I was always, I'm always been like curious like that, like just getting to know people, but we don't ever like think about strangers. Like we don't, you know, we don't talk to strangers. We don't look at, you know, and I guess maybe because we're taught at a young age, like don't talk to strangers. And maybe we're just like, you know, we're brainwashed to not talk to strangers or we, we don't have interest in talking to strangers, which is like people at the store or whatever. But you just start noticing them more and more and you're just like, um, I'm sorry if it so sounds like I'm rambling. It's just cause it's better. You guys just need to experience it for yourself. So it's like you start noticing people and you, start, and you know, when you're in traffic, like I, you know, drive home and there's traffic and you're just like, typically most people they're like, oh, traffic, oh my God. Like I have to wait in traffic. Like you're just thinking about yourself. But when you start meditating, you start realizing we're all in this together. There's people behind you, in front of you. They're all in the same situation. Like, why get mad? And this all, like, what happens is when you when you live in the present, you don't worry because you're just you're just like in this moment. You're not thinking about tomorrow. You're not thinking about yesterday. So you're not worrying. So that's just like a lot of less stress. Like you're not like I was not stressed out at all that summer. I was so happy. And I talked about it a little bit in my video before why like that summer I was so happy. I didn't go to Europe that summer, that was the year after. I literally, all I did was uh, I went to the gym every day and um, I would read books. Um, I read like four books. Like I didn't ever read, I didn't realize it, but I guess I love books. Like I didn't know that about me, but I guess you call them like self-help, whatever. But um, it was funny, my professor actually recommended me one. He's the one that got me into reading books. Um, his class kind of made me think about the world because it was it was a history class but the way he taught it was like it was more about the people and you start noticing okay hold on first let me show you the books that i was reading um here's just like a couple of them this was like the book that i read like literally in like two weeks you can see it's kind of thick it's kind of dense and it's very deep i don't recommend this as a first book i recommend the secret because this is more about this but the secret is just you have to read it it's basically law of attraction summed up and it's pretty easy to read like it's small um you just the only thing i say coming into the, reading this book is just come in reading it with an open mind because it's like everything you thought was real like you realize it's like everything you thought like i don't know it basically just questions it questions your beliefs and everything and everything around it um this book really okay this book is so trippy it's called the spontaneous fulfillment thus i can't talk the spontaneous fulfillment of desire harnessing the infinite power of coincidence deepak chopra and this book literally like opened my mind and when you read this you start realizing there's no such thing as coincidences and i feel like maybe because you're reading it so much you're attract you're what, so what a lot of attraction is is what you're what you ever focus on what you're thinking what you focus on um comes to fruition it comes you attract more of that and so with reading you know this um when you're focusing on reading about um how there's no such thing as coincidences you start you really do start harnessing the infinite power of coincidence because I just started noticing a whole bunch of coincidences just in my life that summer. And I will get that, get to that in another video because I can go on and I can just go on a ramble on that. But um, when you believe everything happens for, because this book is about no such thing as coincidences, which means everything happens for a reason and once you just believe that you're just like you just accept everything that happened why i want to talk about this why it was so trippy and why it's something to try when you start meditating i swear to you guys when you're when you really commit to this and do this every day and you're actually like clearing your mind and you're actually because it's easy to like meditate but then doze off and start thinking you're not really meditating because when you open your eyes, it's like, I can't explain to you guys this, every single morning, I felt like a newborn baby. And I'm not even being dramatic, like that's how it felt. Like I would wake up and it felt like a, like a completely like a new day. Like 
dang, the sun's getting brighter. <laughs> um, I'd wake up and I was just like happy. And I was just like so thankful. So when you start meditating, another practice to be doing, which really helps, which literally helps you be so happy is when you're so grateful. And every night I would like, you know, like pray like everything I was grateful for before I went to bed every night. And then in the morning, I would just thank, you know, God for like the morning that I'm alive and I'm, you know, I'm well, I'm healthy and all these things for my family and everything. You're just like, you're grateful. So when this happens, your mind, I don't, know, I don't know why this happens, but literally, it was weird. Some dreams, my dreams, okay, this is what happens when you meditate, your dreams become more vivid. I don't know why, but I've looked up other videos and I, I'm not the only one, like, your dreams become more vivid. And what freaks me out, not freaks me out, but it just makes you, like, question things again. I'd wake up and my dream would be more vivid than yesterday was. So I remember like, I remember I went to like, we went to Gunther's with my sisters and my sister boyfriend at the time. And we were like eating ice cream, just like having a good time talking. And then I had this like vivid dream. I was like, I think in Europe or something. No, it wasn't Europe, I wasn't in Europe then. It was like, I don't remember, but I was like in a different city. It was just like really trippy. like. I woke up and I was like, I can't explain it. I, I can't explain it. But like having ice cream with my sisters, I was like, that felt like two days ago. Like that felt like the dream that when I remembered it to me, that that image was blurry and my dream was vivid. I can't explain it. You guys like, it's just trippy. But when you clear your mind, you start focus, you start realizing like, um, what your thoughts, your thoughts are so important to the way you live and your thoughts, um, control your life. So if you're more conscious, so the whole point is to be conscious of your thoughts, conscious of not any negative talk to yourself. Cause a lot of the times we're all doing that. We talk negative about ourselves more than anyone. And we're just conscious of making positive thoughts, uh, thinking positive things and thinking about a brighter future even if even if what you see right now you can't see your future but you just believe and you just focus on that it will it will happen like me being here in this apartment in sacramento going to sacramento state seemed like so far down the line two years ago when i was going to las Positas and i had a 2.5 gpa and yeah my grades weren't that great and i just like I just knew I had to go to Sac State and I was gonna get there no matter what. Um, even if my, I literally didn't qualify, like I, you need I think a 3.0 to get in nowadays. So yeah, just to like sum it up. So what happened when I meditated for three months, I was the happiest I've ever been because I wasn't worrying. I was living in the present. You start recognizing other people's emotion and you start realizing we're all in this together, like all of us. Everyone has their own struggles and everyone, everyone is going through it. And we're just like so blind to it because we're all caught up in our world. And when you're living in the present, you start noticing everyone as like one and you don't see people. You, you believe you're like all equal and it's like a really good way. And you wake up like, I swear, like a newborn baby. Like you're so happy for the day. You're so grateful for the day because you're just like, conscious of like this life that like we are given and you just see it as like you're just like so grateful for it and I know we can get caught up in things and that's like the whole point of meditating is to just be aware like we are like all special we're all in this together and then once you realize that it's like this sense of purpose but I hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more make sure to like this video and you know comment if you want to see if you want me to talk about more law of attraction or law of attraction stories. I've attracted a lot of things into my life because of this and because I practiced it. I hope this like motivated you guys or inspired you to start meditating and start being conscious. Hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.